say this multiple times, we may cut you off at any point. Good evening, everyone. In just a few moments, our graduates will be making the first ever senior walk from the high school. At that time, we would really love it, though you love your children, uh, if you could not stop them and take selfies, uh, just wave to them as they walk by. We're really excited about this moment, and we think it's going to be pretty special. They're going to leave the high school proceed through the concourse and then out the tunnel. Uh, so they should be here in about six minutes. Also, we ran through programs more quickly than we anticipated. We will be printing more, and I will let everyone know when we have those. We want to make sure that every single family has one. Thank you.
You may be seated. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation for the class of 2023. I am Mariah Stewart, and I have been honored to serve as your senior class president for the 2022-2023 school year. I have enjoyed being the voice of our class in Student Senate and learning about all of your struggles and successes in high school. As I look around, I see over 465 ambitious and resilient classmates that I have played sports with, shared classes with, laughed with, and cried with over the past four years. Together, we persevered through the COVID shutdown, online school, quarantine, masks, contact tracing, block schedule, murder hornets, social justice uproars, and the downsides of Froyo Cups at Wozone. All of you should be beyond proud of yourselves for finding the strength not only to survive, but to thrive and even exceed expectations. As students, we have learned how to manage our time when it comes to practice, homework, games, concerts, sports, assignments, tests, work, family and friends, and so much more. Many of you have found something you want to work hard for. All of your hard work has happened because of one thing, passion. Whether you're passionate about school and grades, sports or hobbies, your future in the college, military or workplace, you have found the determination to persevere and graduate. No matter what path you choose after high school, you want to do something with your life. You use these motivators to bring fire and drive into everything you do. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, it is important that we pursue success in what we are passionate about. We are the future. The world is depending on us to further develop, empower, and inspire change. Too often, people tell us to choose the path that is safe or practical. I disagree. I think you should choose to follow your passion, which might be riskier. That is when you will see the most success and be the most fulfilled, because your heart will be in the choice. In my experience, choosing the path that is not accepted Choosing the path that has not been expected has been the most beneficial and the most rewarding. You must use your passion to make your community and the world a more desirable place to live in for you and the people you care about. Our passion will provide us with the courage and determination to fulfill the positions of leaders in the world that we will soon replace. And I can only begin to imagine what all of us will accomplish as we do that. The world is not ready for the class of 2023 and all we are destined to do. In the wise words of five-time Grammy award-winning artist, most dreamed artist in the world, popularly known as Drizzy, Champagne Poppy, or Audrey Great, Drake Graham, let's see what's about to happen next. Our school leaders have used their passion for education to help make our experience at West Ottawa invaluable. I'm honored to introduce President Kathy Lebster, Vice President Tyson Smith, Secretary Mary Remenschneider, Trustee and Treasurer Randy Skipper, Trustee Jim Ottoman, Trustee Lynn Bruton, Trustee Darren Dystemars, and finally, I would like to introduce Superintendent Mr. Tim Bearden. Thank you, Mariah. Good evening, parents, students, staff, families, members of the Board of Education, and most importantly, the class of 2023. We're so thankful to our community for this beautiful venue. Thankful to Mrs. Jernigan, who two weeks ago at a board meeting guaranteed perfect weather for tonight, and she came through. Congratulations to the class of 2023 on all of your extraordinary achievements. This class has seen top scholars, musicians earning top ratings at local and state competitions, 
a state championship in cross country, countless other athletic championships, has produced amazing theatrical performances and award-winning newspaper articles, and earned literally millions of dollars of scholarships and grants. You left an incredible legacy at West Ottawa. I get asked a lot of questions by curious people when they find out I'm a school superintendent. I mean, not really. But for the sake of the speech, we'll pretend that people are interested in my job. Some of these questions and the answers are relevant to your legacy as a class at Woe and to the impact that you'll have on the future. For example, as Mariah referenced, one of the many questions I'm asked is about COVID and learning loss. None of us want to really talk about COVID anymore, but I think the general impression is that because we went through a really challenging time, students who are graduating are somehow underprepared for the future. Let's be honest though, most adults I know, and I know some smart people, would struggle with fifth grade math. For example, a fifth grade rule of math is the divisibility rule. Remember that one? The divisibility rule is a shorthand and useful way of determining whether a given integer is divisible by a fixed divisor without performing the division, usually by examining its digits. Got it? In the car ride home tonight, let's quiz each other on the division of fractions and the divisibility rule and see how we all we do. In this class, we have young people who actually understand the rule of divisibility, can write sophisticated computer code, people who can Photoshop a picture to make you look 20 years younger and 10 pounds lighter, people who can literally build you a house, install the plumbing system, and wire the electrical. We can talk about learning loss, and it's a real problem, but if I need to ask someone how to solve a complex calculus equation to determine my compounded interest, I'm probably gonna call Jack O'Brien or Colin Van Fossen and not one of the guys I play golf with. <laughs> my point is that these young people before you tonight are smart, accomplished, and sophisticated in their knowledge of many things. Our administration and staff believe in this class, these graduates are prepared. Graduates, it's a complicated and tricky world you're entering. In many cases, the last couple of generations of adults who preceded you haven't done you the favor of solving some of these complicated issues. And in fact, we're probably headed in the wrong direction in a lot of difficult topics. The questions of climate change, societal violence, extreme political polarization, these things are out there for you to solve, and we're counting on you to come through where we haven't. Tonight, I'd like to offer you just one piece of unsolicited advice. I'm a huge fan of the television show Ted Lasso. In a well-known episode, the character of Ted quotes Walt Whitman in saying, be curious, not judgmental. Ask questions, be curious, open to learning, avoid labels. Too often today we dismiss groups because of labels that we or others have assigned to them. Be wary of contempt without contemplation. Often people decide they don't like an idea because of who conceived it, not because of its merits. If we're to solve the truly complex and existential questions of our time, we need curious learners, creative thinkers, empathetic listeners, and solution finders. Class of 2023, West Ottawa will always be your home. We believe in you, we're proud of you and all you've done, and are always here for you. We're so excited to see what you all will do and the future you'll build for us. It has been my great privilege and honor to serve as your superintendent. Finally, be curious, not judgmental. Go well.
Hello, everybody. My name is Emerson Rymink, and I am the senior class vice president for the class of 2023. I have been involved in Student Senate since my freshman year, and I'm honored to have represented a student body that inspires change not only within our district, but in our community as well. We as a student body have been supported to discover our individual motivators which have carried us through the journey that is high school. For some of us, it was involving ourselves in extracurricular enrichment programs. For many of us, it was our involvement in athletics and student leadership opportunities. But for all of us, it was the ability to find community amongst each other. As a graduating class, we have grown to embody what it means to be a Panther. As a student leader, I have been influenced to appreciate the work, time, and dedication our administrators have put into cultivating the reputation that West Ottawa High School holds today. While it was the administration who created our school's reputation, it was our ideas as students that were implemented to make that reputation possible. As fifth graders, Wakazoo Elementary students were given the opportunity to express their thoughts for the new playground development. And again, as eighth graders, we were presented with the plans to improve Harbor Lights Middle School. Students gave their feedback and our administration listened. Now, as we are about to become graduates, we have left our mark through the changes we made happen in our clubs, athletics, and academics. So, class of 2023, as we leave today as West Ottawa alumni, I want you all to remember that while we do embody the Panther, it is by our own actions and ideas that have allowed West Ottawa Public Schools to embody us. Today, I am pleased to have the honor of introducing an individual whose motivation is the success of each and every one of her students. Our principal, Mrs. Christine Jernigan. It is apparent that Mrs. Jernigan is a symbol of change for West Ottawa. She stands above all adversity as she shatters the stereotype of what it means to be a woman in leadership. As a woman, a mother, in the face of West Ottawa High School, she continues to ensure the success of future generations of Panthers to come. While Mrs. Jernigan represents the future of our district, she continues to uphold the traditions of what it means to be a West Ottawa student. Not only did she attend and graduate from West Ottawa High School, she returned to the district as a teacher, an assistant principal at the high school, an elementary principal, and now for us. She has devoted her life and career to give back to the community that has shaped her into the leader and woman that stands before us today. And I can only hope that many of you will return to the halls of your alma mater and do just as she has. Now, speaking of tradition, past principals have been given a tagline from their student body. Some of you may remember hashtag in Todd we trust or hashtag Jason Nation. So, to thank you for your commitment to the excellence of this district, the senior class would like to gift you your official principal tagline. Hashtag feel the germ. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Christine Jernigan. Oh. Thank you, thank you, Emerson. Um, getting your own hashtag is a rite of passage for sure, so thank you. Seniors, we're here. Look at this incredible night in this incredible space. I want to thank the community for giving our kids this space. They deserve to learn and grow in these kinds of facilities. So thank you to our community. I also would like to thank the West Ottawa Board of Education and Superintendent Bearden for their vision and dedication. Our, uh, maybe, this is a little corny. Um, but it feels magical to be here tonight. I would also like to thank assistant principals, Mrs. Bullheis, Mrs. Cherry, Mr. Manning, and Mrs. Woods for being incredible teammates and for guiding our students and families through thick and thin to this moment. Thank you to our senior class advisors, Mrs. Waymiller and Mr. Ziegenfelder, and administrative assistants, Mrs. Stanley and Mrs. Kephart, for being the unsung heroes for organizing this event. Mrs. Kephart is in the audience as a mother tonight. Lisa, we appreciate you. Thank you to the West Ottawa High School Band and our phenomenal choir, which you will hear later. And finally, a big Thank you to our campus safety team, Ottawa County resource officers, tech and AV team, maintenance staff. This event was no small undertaking. 
This ceremony is being live streamed and will be available on YouTube after the completion of the ceremony. We have hired photographer Laura Veldhoff to take pictures of every senior, and these photos will be shared with you free of charge. After the ceremony, you can meet your senior over uh, on the concourse. We'll have a short period of time where uh, you can meet them and take pictures. Uh, diplomas will be in the auxiliary gym for 30 minutes after the ceremony. Seniors, you've made it, congratulations. The diploma you're about to receive means something. It means you're a panther for life and a permanent part of one of the best communities in the world. It means you can always come home and we will celebrate your successes and your life's work with you. Your success is our success and your dreams are now our dreams. As a symbol of that, and since you're the first graduating class in this stadium, we will be giving your class the first plaque in Alumni Corner. This corner will honor, honor all West Ottawa graduates, you and I alike, and our commitment to supporting one another. This corner will be located off to your right near the block Woe. All right, class of 2023, if you don't mind me bragging about you for a minute, um, I would like to do Woe by the numbers. There are 465 of you graduating this evening. Seven of our fine graduates have enlisted in the branch of the military and will be serving our country next year. Thank you to these brave young men and women for answering the call. Three of our talented senior artists were selected in the top 100 in the state of Michigan and one earned a spot in the Governor's Traveling Show. 29 of them also earned regional scholastic awards, with four moving on to compete at nationals. Each one of our orchestras, choirs, and bands received first division ratings at district and state festivals, with one of our senior jazz players being recognized by the MSBOA for outstanding performances, and our senior-led women's select ensemble was named one of the top choral ensembles in the state. 23 of our students were links who served as peer mentors for our students with disabilities. 19 seniors served as peer-assisted learners around the district. district. Our senior-led debate team was second place in their league, and one of the seniors finished first in both his junior and senior year. Dutch Dance had four seniors, who, and two of them participated all four years. Led by our seniors, our West Ottawa journalism students earned more news writing awards than any other Division I school in the state, with three seniors also winning awards at, awards at the national level. The senior-led student senate saved 550 lives through the various blood drives and organized and wrapped more than 240 gifts for district students. Senior Survivor raised a record setting of 42 thousand dollars for WinWo, a fund that helps support all of our students district-wide. And WOBN uh, produced 165 shows to showcase it at all. We had 14 conference titles and one district championship, nine regional champions, three state runner-ups, one team state title, two individual state titles, 45 all-conference selection athletes, and five All-Americans. 25 of our athletes have committed to play in high school, or excuse me, in college, and <laughs> they're already playing in high school. And most importantly, everyone's favorite team, our unified basketball team with seven seniors played in front of the entire school and in the Breslin Center. Seven members of our senior class have completed the requirements for the IB Diploma Program. 22 seniors have earned the award of AP Scholar three AP Scholars with honors, and 15 AP Scholars with distinction. 84 graduates are members of the Martin E. Ball chapter, our National Honor Society, and they are wearing gold tassels today. 
138 seniors completed high school with a GPA of 3.5 or higher, and they are wearing gold cords. 55 seniors attained a proficiency, a proficiency in two world languages and earned the seal of biliteracy. The class of 2023 earned over $15.5 million in scholarships. And perhaps the greatest accomplishment of all, 182 of our graduates our first generation college or uh, secondary going uh, students. If you are one of those 182 seniors, can you please stand? Incredible work, class of 2023. You make us proud, and we cannot wait to see what life has in store for you. Once a Panther, always a Panther. Congratulations, and go well. Good evening, West Ottawa. My name is Cameron Dumas, and I'm the fourth consecutive secretary for the class of 2023. First, I'd like to congratulate my class for being here today. Our perseverance hasn't gone unnoticed. Although it's by our individual work ethic and merit that we're here today, we didn't walk this path alone. The West Ottawa faculty stood at our side every step of the way. They poured into us. We are here today because of how deeply the West Ottawa faculty cares. I've spent my entire education at West Ottawa Public Schools. Because of that, I've known the positive impact from an educator from a young age. My teachers at Great Lakes Elementary fostered a family-like environment within the classroom. Thanks to that investment, I still have relationships with many of those teachers today. When I reached high school, I realized that, unlike other careers, an educator never gets to clock out. Their commitment to providing quality education often extends well beyond the time spent in the classroom. They invest their personal time and energy to ensure that each student receives the best possible support. What's more is that our educators become some of our greatest mentors. They understand that education isn't solely about academic achievement. It involves equipping students with the knowledge, values, and confidence to lead meaningful lives. Our educators take the time to understand our individuality, experiences, and aspirations. By doing so, they provide personalized support which allows us to reach our full, full potential. A close family friend, Kevin Walma, once gave me the most beautiful analogy for the impact of an educator. Mr. Walma taught, coached, and directed athletics at Huston Bell High School. This spring break, my family traveled with the Walmas to Puerto Rico. We devoted an entire day on our trip to explore the El Yunque National Rainforest. The rainforest is home to amazing scenery and species. Species, species. <laughs> One of those species includes bamboo. As we hiked through the rainforest, Mr. Walma was adamant to find bamboo. At one point, I thought we lost him in the thick of the rainforest as he searched for the plant. Later on, Mr. Walma, I asked Mr. Walma why it was so important to him to find bamboo. He told me, I love bamboo because of how it grows. I asked Mr. Walma more about this, and I did some research myself. Here's what I found. When bamboo is first planted, it requires four years of careful nurturing, watering, and sunlight. During this time period, the bamboo root system establishes underground. No growth is visible above ground. Then, in the fifth year, the bamboo shoots upward. It takes only 60 days for the plant to grow nearly 80 feet tall. In fact, the plant can grow six inches in one day. That growth is only possible because of the strong, fully developed root system underground. The roots stabilize and anchor the plant in place. Nurturing bamboo requires patience and time, but because of this, bamboo is an incredibly rewarding plant to grow. When I heard this, all I could think about were my teachers at West Ottawa. Faculty, you are nurturing bamboo every day. 
You support and invest in your students, which provides us with the strength and community we need in order to grow when we depart from West Ottawa. Because of what you do in our lives for four years, we can go out into the world and grow into our most impactful and authentic selves. In order to symbolize this analogy, I potted some bamboo plants and gave them to the faculty members who nurtured my growth the most. Although I've had positive experiences with all the West Ottawa faculty, these people have truly impacted my life. Mr. Burke, who listened like a true friend. Coach Schwalier, who showed me the endless opportunities for personal growth. Mr. Mark DeVries, who exemplified humble service. Mrs. Cheney, who showed me, the in, who showed me incomparable compassion. Mr. Strobel, who actively invested in my future. Mr. Garland, who showed me that there is so much joy in learning. Ms. Steer, who challenged my character. Mr. Taylor and Mr. Clausen, who showed up to everything. Senora Holmes, who provided wonderful mentorship. Mr. Hevlin, who always checked in. Mr. Bill Kennedy, who made everyone feel like someone. Mrs. Meyer, who showed me patience. Mr. Manning, who led with love. Thank you for nurturing me during my time at West Ottawa. You've helped me to establish a strong root system, and I know I'll grow exponentially after high school. I have a prop, I'm a theater kid. Um, <laughs> now I have one more bamboo plant to give out. I'm giving this bamboo plant to the person who I'd like to extend my biggest thank you to. To speak very openly, this year was the most challenging year of my life. I lost myself in significant struggles with my health. Mentally, I battled depression and anxiety. Physically, at my worst, I lost 11 pounds in eight days. There was a point where I didn't think I'd be here to graduate. Uh, Mrs. Bullheis, would you please come stand here by, by me? I'm here today, not by my own strength, but by God's. He blessed me with people like Mrs. Bullheis, who fought for me and oversaw my healing. So with that said, I'd like to give this last bamboo to Mrs. Bullheis. Mrs. Bullheis, who fought for my peace. Mrs. Bullheis, who believed that I could come out of a struggle as a new creation. Mrs. Bullheis, who saved me from myself. My heart is full of gratitude forever and ever. Please know that. Class of 2023, I pray that the world meets you with the same kindness that the West Saddle faculty has shown you. If you feel you didn't experience the same support and nurturing that I described, you didn't have your eyes open. We're loved, we're celebrated, we're built on a firm foundation. Our roots run deep and I'm looking forward to seeing the ways you thrive next year and beyond. West Ottawa, it's been a joy and an absolute privilege to serve you for the last four years. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Go well. Thank you, Cam. I will now recognize students that have put an immense amount of hard work and effort into their academics during their time at West Ottawa. This year's valedictorians are Lola Burcompass, Kaylee Daniels, Shyla Dozman, Eleanor Irvine, Jack O'Brien, Arian Olson, Courtney Piesco, and Natalie Young. Congratulations to these students who have probably pulled a few all-nighters, cried in a Starbucks, and became a top user on Quizlet. Your hard work does not go unrecognized. Thank you, Mariah. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our top scholar, Colin Van Fossen. Good evening, everyone. 
Graduates, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Colin, and we did in fact go to high school together. I am here today to reflect upon the past, predict our outstanding bright futures, and hopefully reduce a few of you to tears. I would like to first express my deepest gratitude for being in this position on our stage. I feel tremendous pride and honor to have the opportunity to address the class of 2023 and all of our wonderful supporters and attendants. Personally, I know I would not be here without the help of a ton of people. I want to extend a sincere thank you to my amazing teachers, mentors, and friends throughout the West Ottawa community. I also want to thank my immediate and extended family who are out there somewhere for all their support and encouragement. Last, I have to give a shout out to my Lakeshore Elementary Spanish Immersion class. Thank you guys for all the amazing memories. Seniors, allow me to say congratulations. We made it, right? 13 long years of schooling are definitely behind us. After today, we will be entering the fabled real world, armed with all the knowledge and skills gained in school to prepare us for it. We can analyze 18th century poetry, multiply polynomials, recall events from the French Revolution, balance chemical equations, you know, things adults do all the time. <laughs> On a serious note though, graduating high school is an essential achievement. Persevering through year after year of schooling has undoubtedly prepared all of us for our next steps. High school graduations all share some common features. However, our class experience is marked by some uncommon events. Over the last four years, our last four years have been full of firsts. It was not long after our first walk down Main Street as freshmen that we were told we were going home for two weeks. Those two weeks lasted a long time, and we all experienced the difficulties of navigating through distance learning, Google Meets, and being confined to home. Our sophomore year was marked by a block schedule, masks, contact tracing, quarantines, and no final exams. In our junior year, we returned to a more normal school year and another first, West Ottawa's first female principal. Shout out Ms. Jernigan. Finally, in our senior year, we are the first class to cheer on our Panthers in this amazing new stadium. As you can see, we went through a lot of firsts and the way I look at it, a lot of changes. Today, we celebrate one of the biggest changes we will ever experience in our lives, the transition from high school to beyond. Many of us will be pursuing various post-secondary pursuits and moving away from our friends and families. All of us will be leaving behind our familiar West Ottawa High School hallways full of smiling teachers and beloved support staff. For many of us, we will be on our own for the first time. We will be attending new classes or starting new jobs with new people in a new environment. We will have to make our own decisions, like, who do I want to be? What do I stand for? And is this weak old Chipotle burrito still safe to eat? We will be faced with tackling a dynamic world that seems to become more confusing by the day. No doubt many of us, myself included, are nervous to enter the ever-changing world in front of us. At the same time, many of us also like myself, are excited to enter the ever-changing world in front of us. It's funny how we can feel such conflicting emotions about the same thing. I think that this is a beautiful part about being human, though. We can experience life's greatest and most opposite emotions simultaneously. In life, we learn compassion through pain, love through loss, and happiness through sadness. Regardless of how you're feeling about your future, I'm confident that West Ottawa has us well and to some extent overprepared for whatever change may come our way. Though I joked about it earlier, I would bet that we will have to use a skill from chemistry, solve a complex math problem, 
remember a historical event or analyze some form of literature in our future lives. It's just a matter of when. As I look out into the audience, what I see is a stadium full of uniquely talented, uniquely knowledgeable individuals who are ready to make their mark on the world. There is no doubt in my mind that we have the talent and preparation. However, we must harness it. After all, talent is nothing without hard work. So I ask you to dig deep. What ignites that spark inside you? What cure, idea, or skill do you have buried in your mind? I urge you to follow the ideas and pursuits that you're passionate about. I would even say to go after the thing that scares you, especially if it is the thing that you really want. Do not surrender your ambitions to the limitations others have placed on you. It is up to us to be our own best advocate. As we soon depart from the stadium, I hope you take a moment to think about the ways that you can live your deepest, most dynamic life. Do not be afraid to chase the unique things that you desire. Take on the ever-changing world we live in head on and embrace life's greatest emotions. So be ready, real world, because here we come. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go well. Good evening. This time I'd like to invite the members of our vocal heirs, Wo Sui, and our senior choir members for this evening's choir performance. Champagne with kings and queens, the politicians pray to my name. Someone else is and called the man I became. But when I stop and see. I remember who all this was. 
Thank you to the choir for their beautiful performance. My name is Paige Swarthout, and I am honored to have served as your senior class treasurer. Throughout my time here, I have watched my peers carry the West Ottawa name proudly. Whether it was in the classroom, on the field, on stage, or at Wopong practice, all of you have contributed to the accomplishments of our school. Just within my four years, I've seen state titles won by tennis players, swimmers, runners, and this year, our very talented girls cross country team. We've claimed numerous conference championships and sent countless athletes to compete in college across a multitude of sports. But we haven't only succeeded in athletics, as West Ottawa has a phenomenal reputation in the performing arts. Our band, orchestra, and choir continue to bring in number one ratings at our annual festival performances, while being recognized across the state for various talents. And our theater department puts together outstanding shows, stepping up their skills every production. To match all of this talent, we are lucky to receive our brand new facilities. We are currently standing in the best high school stadium in the state and are the first class in West Ottawa history to graduate on this field. Equally as exciting, our new Performing Arts Center is being constructed as I speak. To commemorate the talents that have been demonstrated by our students, I am proud to announce that the first gift from the class of 2023 is a fountain in the new PAC. This fountain is given as a tribute to the talents West Ottawa students have worked hard for and to celebrate new beginnings. It will be placed in the main lobby of the PAC after its construction, visible to everyone with a shout out to the class of 2023. As proud as we are of our athletes and performers, we are all here today due to the work that was done in the classroom. Our second class gift demonstrates our continued efforts to make West Ottawa a positive place to be. While our installations in each of the academic hallways will be added with West Ottawa's foundational sayings to make our building fit our core values. Contrasting the yellow hallways and the blue lockers, these signs will make the halls feel more like West Ottawa and revamp our learning spaces. West Ottawa has made its name throughout the state, and your participation in that is what you, as a class of 2023, have left for the school as the greatest gift. I am thankful for my time here, and I wish you all the best in whatever you choose to do after this day, as I know you are well prepared for the next stage in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Paige, and thank you to the class of 2023 for the amazing gifts. And now, the moment that you have been waiting for. It is my distinct honor and privilege to call forward the class of 2023 for the awarding of their West Ottawa Public Schools diplomas. First row, you may rise. Testing, 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 okay. Courtney Piasco. Shyla Helene Dozman. Kaylee Joy Daniels. Ariane Olson. Natalie Young. Lola Bercampas. Jake O'Brien. Jack O'Brien. Eleanor Rose Irvine, 
Bowie Lauren Anderson. McKenna Lynn Crook. Ava McBride. Torben Shook. Megan Childs. Ariel Debandas. Melanie Campos Camano. Miguel Angel Rosales Jr. Jake Jonathan Alvarez. Edwin Rivera. Angel Ramos Perez. Benjamin Witt Keju. Cindy Ho. Gabriella Giselle Gomez. Sandra Vede San. Ashley Tapia. Samantha Avery Corre. Hayden Michael Allen Highborn. Joe Duncan. Okay. Sharon Williams. Reagan Lee. Elizabeth Kaylee Pilarski. Lillian Ryder. Allison Chakowski. Sophia Kuhn. Ashley Johnson. Avery Jane Post. Abigail Hogan. Sydney Hogan. Mackenzie Hogan. Emily Grace Buck. Thank you. Grant Thielen. Dylan Markovich. Jackson Field. Kaylee Terry. Connor Jacob Woolley. Kendall Wagner. Alisa Booby. Claire Johnson. Renna Rolla. Megan Postma. Julian K. Carrier. Irene Garcia. Caitlin Heck. Calvin Scott Ball. Jesus Castilla. Castilla. Christian DeHart. Andy Lopez. Jose Garcia. Caden Andrew Mika. Kira Garrett. Ricardo Flores. Eli Pars. Emily Calvo. Caden Hill. Caleb Niblet. Abram Damstra. Shane Borman. Grant Bodenbender. Bryden Mazarski. Marzinski, sorry. Trail Bumstead. 
Alexia Ciara. Charity Ehrman. Sonia Nikure. Let's go, Sonia! Julia Eggerson. Hanan Mosen. Benjamin James Monger. Owen Joseph Foster. Marissa Delia Sanchez. Heidi Gomez. Haley Gomez. Sitlali Luciano. Pomila Cortez. Maritza Rodriguez. Jocelyn Star Sandoval. Danielle Arch. Shiley Sellers. Amber Lawrence. Ezekiel Perez. Joseph McNutt. Jason Lack. Leighton Van Denen. Ethan Schultz. Drake Vanderwall. Mario Sanderville Jr. Cameron Van Heisen. Nicholas Brower. Jada Martinez. Carter Parent. Bryce Baldwin. Trayden Besky. Vincent Jang. Anna McCoy. Mantha Yent. Vendara Tyrell Vaughn. Alec Chain. Isai Jesus Ponce. Blake Bowerman. Caden Parker. Michael Evenhouse. Janaya Destiny Brown. Jenna Nicole Dirksky. Briella Meisty. Reagan Corrine Volk. Angelina Luci Luciana Colum. Sorry, Colamno. Grace Ward. Damian Fernandez. Elena Wagner. Mitchell Roloffs. Ryan Stam. Logan Westlock. Cameron Ludy. Jake Bloomers. Cooper Terpstra. Evan Janetsky. Cooper Nienheis. Charlie Chuck Gardner. Cole Kenneth Tolgetsky. Brody Becker. Fisher Gager. Oriana O'Mealy. Maylee Lewandowski. Elena De 
Fishinger. Middle name? Reagan Grace Lance. Chloe Duckworth. Wyatt Putnam. Landon Arroyo. Isabella Christine M. Elizabeth Joelle Hopkins. Zara Nicole Serrano Flores. Elizabeth Kellen Holsteg. Ava Carnavale. Alex Wartman. Tia Peterson. Ella Bentley. Joshua Carter. Camden Vischer. Andrew James Goddard. Jackson Frederick Wiggerink. Brody Ruby. Liam Herwire. Micah Crawford. Xander Fredrickson. Jacob Voss. Andrew Peel. Theodore Borgman. Nash Bosma. Joshua Hunt. Eli Kulameth. Neela Marie Ayala. Andrew Bellew. Cameron Volkers. Timothy McDonald. Alex Ryan DeVries. Aiden Dimash. Maurice Roberto Acunabek. Hope Spiholski. Miguel Diego Gutierrez. Devin Nolan. Kaden Gwynn. Nicholas Tunks. Caleb Peckham. Kelly Evelyn Sanchez. Marcus Tepfong. Nita Tepsenbath. Jorge Calvin Rodriguez Jr. Rome Seek. Emily Therese Van Dam. Lance Michael Parrish. Ashlyn Kiefer. Alexandria Hammer. Trevor Houtman. Justin Myers. Mia Ronnie. Karen Leal. Mariah Dulce AJ Pop. Alejandro AJ Pop. Justin Kuiper. Andy Solis. Ariel Marie Wood. Aliyah Maya Wood. Megan Lynn DeWitt. Samantha Irene Farveld. 
Nicole Mariquin. Janisa Marie Martinez. Janelia Chia. Malia Simmons. Sierra Sky Schonauer. Lucia Villarreal Saavedra. Samantha Van Nord. Quincy Moyo. Ivan Munoz. Check. Roger Roa Roman. Christian Lopez Cisneros. Emma Greco. Alejandro Lopez. Jesus Barrios. Christopher Villarreal. Juan Aguilera Juarez. Aaron Petalot. Cameron Monicum. Aiden Estupinian. Jacob Un. Jacob Serrano Campbell. Avant Chantalanun. Samuel Graft. Lucas Lusher. Joseph Overway. Jaden Bonsenbath. Angie Lar Allen. Maya Salvia Lopez. Tatiana Olivo Delgado. Logan Zerba. Samuel Rios, Caleb Timothy Porter, Cameron Isaiah Castro, Madison Nevea Vanderswag, Haley Schur, Stacy. Gordon, Michael James Cerna, Justin Fritz, Nicholas Lehman, Maxwell Brian McCormick, Mike Giannico. Violet Verhoven, Adrian Hernandez, Romeo Vivaldo Rodriguez, Yulitza Rodriguez Mendoza, Dawson Johnson, Faith Catherine Youngcrite. Peyton Elizabeth Beverick. Mallory Follett. Emma Grace McNitt. Liliana Roa Cabellas. Luis Arguelles. Jensen Castornea. Lenapol Yen. Soku 
Boone, Ketcha, Kin. Caleb, Romans. Julia, Jung. Sayla, Reese, Kephart. Quincy, Leonard. Jocelyn, Luna, Welsh. Sontra, D. Jumne Pawansa. James, Bronius. Sean, Saywert. Riley, Sodini. Zach, Brujink. Andres de la Torre Castro. Soren Van Dam. Natalie Martinez Tinajero. Mackenzie Hirschberger. Christopher James Farrell. Ethan Hillebrands. Andrew Joseph Farrell. Evan Gerlach. Ryan Chaholsky. Juana Maria Risenas. Gracidelas Rodriguez. Teina Rodriguez Rivera. Mia Garcia Fonseca. Jose Guadalupe Christian Rodriguez. Isaac Ibarra. Joseph James Weimer. Ezra Jean Beach. Carly Suzanne Ackerson. Angel Angeli Suri Yasset. Shauna Dans. Reese Butcher. Dylan Sternberg. D'Amico Jacqueline Morgan. Ricardo Augustine Espinizo. Jaden Michael Lopez. Tyler Veenstra. Jaden Yam. Ava Boss. Owen Henry Green. Seth B. Savage. Kamar Michael Ivy. Carden. Bowie, Trinity, Sky, Buckner, Nasario, Ramon, Guterres, Adam, Julian, Ledesma, Dylan, Vat, Bunlungsi, Malachi, Marquise, Ryan, Wallace, Esteban, Jimenez, Joshua, Lux, Alexander, Leon, Tunks, Carlos, Aguilar, Alejandra, Antron, Ramos, Jose Perez, Mathis Ray Garin, Mariah Luis Smith, Dominic Filicelli, Christian Gilligan, Brady Donald James McQueen, 
Amayo, Lachey, Kyle, Eunice, Nolasco, Zavala, John, Dave, Gallardo, Pagalan, Retta, Sam E, Jobson, Martin, Villa Fuerte. Angie Ortiz Lujano, Woo! Sabrina Cintran, Ashley Hiron Serrano, Jacqueline Mendoza Hiron, Cindy Bahena, Kaden Atkins, Sierra Punzana. Ray Enriquez, go, go, go. Kylie Nunn, Cameron Blacktrup, Victor Malinowski, Zachary Forsma, Robert Vanderkolk, Joshua Hull, Cameron Meyer, Talon, J.C. Hernandez, Diamond, Teresa, Maez, Sierra, Neil, Charlotte, Binkley, Philip, Hewen, Marcos, Ortiz, Tapia, Aiden, Knowles, Amaria, Lewis, Balin, Vanderwall, Violet, Lee, Jones, Aligajo, Elizabeth, Muir, Peyton, Van Buskert, Devin, Warmoth, Jonathan, Alexander, Bloomers, Sarah Luffman, Juniper Clark, Joey Taylor, Isabella Kistler, Angel Manuel Moreno, Jehoshaphat Carrizales. Braden Bowker, Isaac Trapp, Maxwell Hirama, Casey Hillis, Braden Sorensen, Isabella Kalunga. Cassandra Luna, Deja Pico, Destiny Crespo, Andrew Torres, Jacob Rios, Jesus Gonzalez Coronado. Alana Knox, Alexis Tenhagen, Braden Tenhagen, Caitlin Matthias, Celicia Gonzalez, Carly Van Nile, Jennifer Chantel Flores. Julian Chavez, Ian Pedersen, Sarah Childers, Chanriti Ya, Kiara Renee Ward, Jasmine Marie Cuevas. 
Isabel Victoria Shepherd. Alan Andre Payne Jr. Justice Yin. Valeria Munoz. Stephanie Zamudio Rodriguez. Cardin Lee. Alexis Carreno Castro. Kaden Vongsavath. Joseph Donald Skurbeck. April Bith. Sophia Vargas. Hector Sanchez Torres. Avion Wilson. Amari Bean. Charles Uldrix. Tracy Hua. Brandon Gill Solis. Andrew Brian Noros. Coda J. Bush. Jessica Flores. Karina Aguilar. Aaliyah DeRitter. Yahaira Rabukalva Mejia. Jacob Judge. Odalis Arenas Herrera. Isaiah Porteus. Lisette Alia Aguillan. Kayla Zhang. Alina Hu. Haley Lavon Shoemaker. Jasmine Richardson. Rohilo Rock. Ana Asorto. Diego Ramos. Brandon Perez. Adrian Yahir Duran. Benjamin Martinez Gonzalez. Nayeli Carrizales. Christopher Ponce. Jonathan Oriabang. Noah Thomas. Amelia Manasak. Remy Morris. Soraya Salgado. Alan Martinez. Luz Fernandez Alicea. Alan Lopez. Elijah Zanstra. Emily Denton Butzel. Morgan Boyd. Kayla Young. Henry Mendez. Mukamsufu Vilisemai. Dominic Rodriguez Alvarez. Isabel Rivera Molina. Dominique Justiniano. Nicholas Crespo. Joshua Danielle. Joseph Coley. Caleb 
Gomez Corder. Carmen Julia Santoyo. Olivia Ruzalowski. Jocelyn Lumen. Kalia Rummelt. Brandon Wills. Kyle Talsma. Gary Garcia Sarabia. Angelo Penalosa. Rebecca Olivares. Juan Andres Gomez. Christian Castillo. Mariah Stewart. Cameron Dumas. Emerson Rymink. Paige Ann Swarthout. And Colin Van Fossen. Graduates, please rise and join us in the singing of the fight song. I would say this is one our final time, but I know we'll be back together. So please rise and join us in the singing of the fight song. Please move your tassels from the right to the left. We will conclude our ceremony with the tossing of the caps. So parents, get your cameras ready. I will do the countdown. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go on! Congratulations, class of 2023! Thank you. 